area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madame Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments, or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. So please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm, a photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle.
Hello, sir. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. Madam Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the staged funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's the birds. They're making a racket, droppings everywhere. The Undertaker wants them gone before he'll see Madam Carlyle. This may be any other day for you, but for me, this is highly original. I've never accepted two pounds of this. Money isn't everything. I need to work on my aim. I'll never get rid of those stupid birds. Oh, my God! Hey there. Big guy. Finally, the birds are gone. I'll just run through everything before calling Madame Carlyle down. A safe in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Yes, and what's up? This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside.
Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Greetings, sir. Yeah, hey, bro. 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! 